But if you close your eyes Hello there and welcome to our third video in the Target Origins series. So in this video we will be discussing what the demographics and psychographics are. The definition of demographics means that information is used in the media to classify an audience into age, race and other categories. These are broken into bands depending on the types of people. For example, what job they might have and their status in life. This is shown in a table format. The first letter uh, in the table is A. So this is for higher management, bankers, lawyers, doctors and those who have established a well paid job. The second letter is B. This is for middle management, those who are teachers, creative and in the media. So this could be my code in the future because I want to work within the media industry. The third is C1. This is for junior managers, nurses, specialist clinical staff, office supervisors and white collar jobs. The fourth is C2. This is for skilled manual workers, plumbers, builders and white collar jobs. The fifth in the table is D. These are semi-skilled and unskilled manual workers. The last code is E. This is what we are now, students. This is because most of us are unemployed and seeking work. This code is also for pensioners and casual workers. Now let's take a look into psychographics. So this divides the market up into groups based on social class, lifestyle, personality and characteristic. This as well comes in a table format. There are seven types of psychographics out there. The first one on this list is the mainstreamers. So they seek security. They tend to be domestic, conformist, conventional, sentimental, and they favour value for many family brands. This is the largest group. So the second group is the aspirers. So these seek status above all else, they're materialistic, they're acquisitive, orientated to image and appearance, persona and fashion. These are typically younger people. The third in the list is the succeeders. So these seek control. They have strong goals and confidence. So they're very organized in their work ethnic as well. So these are typically higher management and professionals. So the fourth is the resigned. So these seek survival. Their rigid values interest in past and traditions. These are typically older people. The fifth are the explorers. So these of course seek discovery. They have energy and experience. They value difference and adventure. These are typically younger people, such as students, what I am. So the six are the strugglers. These seek to escape. They are very disorganized in what they do and they have few resources beyond their physical skills. They like to buy alcohol and junk food and lottery tickets. They are typically in the lower demographics. And the last is the reformers. So these seek enlightenment. So their freedom of restrictions and personal growth. So they have social awareness and independent judgment. They're anti-materialistic, but aware of good taste.